Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for being part of the NACTA webinar series. My name is Lorene Romero. I am going to be the moderator for today's webinar. Our special guest is going to be Mark. He is the National Sales and Marketing Man Director for Emerald Waterways. I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping up front, and then I will be putting myself on mute so that way Mark has a sound-free uh, area for us to be able to get a clear recording. This is going to be recorded. It will also be posted onto the NACTA YouTube site. If you haven't signed up for the NACTA YouTube site, I really encourage you to do so. We post our webinars on there. We also post other little helpful, quick, short webinars. Lisa Watson posts things about how to change your passcode. We have one on how to update your one sheet, uh, if you need to update your email address, let's say for example you've changed your email and you've suddenly stopped getting NACTA messages, that would be because we don't have your new email address. What you would need to do is go into your NACTA profile, change it, then you'll start getting our messages again. So there's a little video on how to do that also. So housekeeping, everybody is on mute except for me and of course Mark, uh, we will have a question and answer series right at the very end. Uh, so anytime during this webinar you would like to be able to post a question for me to read to Mark, please just put it in the question box and I'll be happy to read at the end. And I'm letting everybody know now to all pay attention during the entire webinar because a little birdie, quote Mark, is going to also talk about that there's going to be a gift for one of the attendees who's paying attention for the full time at the very end. So I encourage you to be on the call the entire time. So for now, hey Mark, I am going to turn it over to you. Um, thank you again. You're always such a wonderful NACTA home-based travel agent. Uh, fan, you know, you treat us right, you treat us because you know we're sellers of travel. I can, Mark and I met uh, last year or the year before because he hosted San Francisco Barry a luncheon and he's a charm to be with. So Mark, I'm going to turn it over to you and put myself on mute. Well, my goodness, Lorene, with an introduction like that, holy cow, I guess I really better bring my A game and, and happy to do it. And you're absolutely right. The NACTA fans and supporters out there, we're glad to be with you guys. It's a terrific partnership really all over the country from the ACTA folks to the ASTA folks to the NACTA folks, even our friends up north in Canada. But really, uh, of course, I'm a California boy, and uh, I love my NorCal, my SoCal NACTA chapters. Um, so for everyone on the line, thanks for being here today. We're going to go through some really good information. I do encourage you to you know, grab a pen, grab a paper, like Lorena was talking about. We're going to go through some points and some details. Yeah, there's a little uh, incentive for you to be involved. Of course, the best incentive is the fact that uh, Emerald's one of those companies that pay commissions that have the commas in them, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but thank you, Lorena. It's great to work with you again. I uh, always appreciate your motivated, sales-focused, and, and client-centric attitude about taking care of business. So tell you what, if you're in your bunny rabbit slippers and robe still, because maybe it's chilly and you got this liquid sunshine coming down like we've been experiencing, maybe you're at a brick-and-mortar place and you're a good NACTA involved agent, or maybe you're at a Starbucks taking care of business, welcome, and thanks for being here. So let's get rocking and rolling. You know, happy 17 to all of you. Hopefully it's kicked off, kicking, booking, right? So um, let's find out more about Emerald Waterways. We're going to go through, you know, soup to nuts, and, and, and then then some. And I guarantee you're bound to learn some extra information, uh, learn even about some of the recent differences and goings on that were out there for you guys to make it easier to book Emerald overall. Well, guess what? On that pad of paper, right off the top, Emerald exceptional value. You're going to hear that time and time again throughout this presentation. And it's something you need to repeat to your clients as well. And I'm going to dig into that a little bit more as we go along. For those that uh, may not know me, well, geez, whoa, there we go. There's like the biggest selfie in the world. I am Mark Chinette, the National Sales Manager for Emerald Waterways. Uh, there's my email address, my phone number. Happy to serve any of you for any needs that come up. 
uh, regardless of what state or state of mind you might be residing in. You know, and a lot of times uh, people ask about emerald waterways and kind of, Mark, you went on this cruise, you've been on a number of the cruises on emeralds, you know, what was your favorite? You know, what can I use to influence my friends to go and enjoy emeralds? And I gotta tell you, you know, it's it just kind of dependent on how I felt that morning waking up. Um, you know, sometimes it was getting ready to have a nice breakfast and take off on an excursion that was all of Red Sea for me. Sometimes it was uh, hanging out on the ship and just enjoying the sun come up over a mountain ridge with a nice fresh cup of coffee. Other times it was going out on more active excursions. Uh, down there on the photo you see my new best friends. That's Adele and Liesel. That's the mother-daughter team that actually does some of the bike tours with us. Adele is 82. Her daughter Liesel uh, usually brings up the rear with people that are slow folks, but we're making sure they get taken care of on the bike tours. And of course, uh, if you guys do or don't know this, I'm a Central Valley boy, born and raised. I was born in Fresno, and of course, a lot of agriculture. I had horses growing up, so doing the Spanish riding school there in Vienna was one of my highlights. But overall, for you, and of course, getting that message to your client, they're going to say, well, what is there to do on a river cruise? What should I do on Emerald? And it's really as much or as little as they want. If they want to be really involved and go out on excursions and do different things, great. If they just want to chill out on the ship, absolutely. And for those of you that maybe not even real familiar with Emerald Waterways, that's okay. Uh, not a, a ton of people are yet, and we entrust you to kind of spread the word. But you're going to see us out there in Wall Street Journal. You're going to see us in all the various different uh, print publications, all the different daily publications from the Sacramento Bee sometimes, uh, the Examiner, you name it. And you'll see ads, and sometimes you'll even see articles. Like we love this one down in the San Diego Union Tribune talking about cruising on Europe's rivers. A nice hassle-free way to go see the world, and, and that's that's a really good thing to think about. You know, also USA Today did some coverage on us not too long ago. What it's like to go on a river cruise with Emerald Waterways, and as you're taking notes, these are little pointers you can kind of uh, make note of and bring up, and even show your clients. So when they're kind of comparing apples to apples or brand Emerald versus brand X, you know what it's all about. We'll also do national publications with Travel and Leisure, Bon Appetit. You'll see us on Wheel of Fortune, and we'll be doing, you know, the grand prize giveaways. You kind of, again, get the branding out there, get the Emerald Waterways name well-known in the public, so it makes it easier when they're calling you up, emailing you, wanting to book it. And, of course, our favorite, our number one way to get the word out is you. That's why we partner with you. That's why we'd like to support the events and the different things like this webinar to let you know that we're here for you because we realize the professionalism, the information, all the trusted behind the scenes work you do for your clients is amazing. And so we like to say absolutely keep calm and use a travel agent. But thank you for the partnership and thank you for getting the word out about Emerald Waterways and our sister brand, Phoenix. So today, let's get into some of the things we'll cover. Of course, we're gonna talk a little bit about this river cruising phenomenon give you the background on Emerald overall, talk about our starship and this Emerald Plus philosophy, as well as keep going over this Emerald exceptional value. There it is again, I told you, it's going to be one of those things that I'm going to prove to you as we have our chat. And of course, I do want to cover off some of the different benefits we have available to you, different website tools and other ways to help you book more. And it's about sales, it's about growing the business, yes, it's really about wowing your clients so they come back saying thank you for putting me on Emerald Waterways. And realize that we know that when you recommend us, they're attaching a piece of your reputation to our brand. We take that very seriously and we thank you for that. So, river cruising. Gosh, is there one article that doesn't come out every other week in some trade publication talking about how hot it is? Um, it's a great place to be. It's wonderful to work for Emerald Waterways because the category is certainly white hot. But have you ever just thought, like, well, what, why? What's going on? What's the big deal? And there's this great digital art piece uh, that was put together, and it basically shows all these rivers kind of converging. And you think about rivers in general and really what it means to people. And <laughs> you know, it's, they're kind of weathering right now. We're all getting all kinds of different rivers going on. But, you know, the general rivers and, and not just the Sacramento or maybe the Columbia. But, you know, overall, think about how rivers came to be, where they come from, what it means to a people that live in that area. And if we think about it, sometimes we put these blinders on being U.S. citizens. You know, we're only a couple hundred years old, 
So we're kind of young as far as what we rely on and what we need from our, our river system. I'm going to ask you to kind of transport yourself back a couple thousand years. Okay, get yourself to the old world. Think about if you were in old world Europe and what rivers meant to you then, say, four or five hundred years ago. Well, sure, originally, food and the water, the sustenance you needed to survive was near the rivers. But then the things that came along as history progressed with not just the mythology, but also the countries and the strife and fighting for the boundaries and how they became these amazing national symbols. And certainly before the combustion engine and industrial age, they were the transportation routes of the old world, getting goods up and down the river from one place to another. And wouldn't you know it, someone was smart enough, like the toll roads we've got here in Cali, to make those kind of the original robber baron castles. And how are you going to pay for those castles? Well, you throw a chain across the river and you stop any boat traffic and make them pay a tariff or a doubloon or whatever the currency was of the era. And that's how you create these uh, great cities around these uh, great rivers. So now we've got this romance. We've got all this commercial traffic going up and down. We've got this beauty of rivers. I know many of you have been on river cruises, but probably just as many have not been. And now we get to recreate. Now we get to go out and really enjoy ourselves and see the surroundings and just absorb a new culture, a new way of life by cruising along the rivers of Europe. You know, I usually would ask a, a live audience that I could see, hey, show of hands, you know, what, what are your clients saying? Why do they want to go on river cruises? What's important to them? We'll cover off a couple of those. Maybe some that you maybe didn't think about. They're important. But this, this is usually why. They want to be able to step off their gorgeous, sexy hotel that they only had to unpack once and step right into this quaint village or this quaint area where all the action is, where the history was built, where the castles became villages, became mega cities, or sometimes even these little villages that they've never heard of, that they come back with the best stories because they met this shopkeeper in this tiny little place and they chased this apricot jam was like nobody's business. And they got into a conversation with a shopkeeper to find out her name is Tilda. She's the fourth generation owner that has this apricot uh, factory of the fields off on the other hill where the orchard is harvested and they bring these fresh apricot preserves together to this little shop. And you get to learn about how great grandmother was the one that did the recipe. Ooh, you know, a little story like that that really highlights and makes your client's trip that's just special. So what's important to them? Well, we ask them, I mean, how can we make it better, but also why river cruise and what's important to you when you go off on a river cruise? And they say they want to get closer to the destination. They enjoy the variety of different sports every day. Of course, they love their river view from their suites or their cabins and taking in the, the scenery. Personally, I love when we're cruising along and, you know, waving to the locals because nine times out of ten, you're getting a nice, friendly wave back. They love it. Certainly, it's a great way to get immersed into the culture. And that's, that's a key word, that immersion. You know, we've all talked about uh, going to places and checking out destinations. The immersion in the culture, when you're right there and living it with them, seeing how they work and play and go through their day, there, there's something special there. And, of course, being able to do it in style with the type of cabins and suites we have available. And sometimes we forget on ship. The things that happen, like making friends for life from folks from various countries around the world. In fact, here's a quick one for you. The type of cruisers that go with Emerald Waterways, let me just share with you the mix of nationalities. You're going to get uh, a lot of Australians and New Zealanders going along, about 40 to 50 percent of the ship. About 30 percent of that's going to be Americans and Canadians. Uh, the rest are going to be filled in with Brits, with folks from South Africa, basically anyone that speaks English. It's all English all the time on board as well as on shore. Uh, but those are the primary nationalities. And the reason I share that with you is because people will come back making friends for life from around the world. They're able to share a common language. Although sometimes what we call one thing in our country might be totally different than what they might call it in theirs. And it's a great way to make the world a little closer, right? By having these friends you're having these shared experiences with in a foreign destination. Well, to give you a little bit of background about Emerald, um, some of you may or may not know, we're part of Scenic Tour Group, really Scenic. Uh, that's the mothership, if you will. So Scenic owns Scenic, uh, the Eclipse, and of course, Emerald Waterways. So Glenn Maroney is our owner. He started Scenic 
30 years ago, in fact, we just celebrated our 30th birthday. So in 1986, he started this Phoenix Tours um, down in Australia. That grew into a river cruising for Scenic around 2008 or so. And then in 2014, we launched Emerald Waterway. And, you know, i got to say, uh, we've been very humbled and very honored by a lot of awards we received these last few years. Everything from folks just like you in the industry, uh, trade awards, and probably as important, maybe more important, you could argue, from the consumers, right, from the guests that go with us through Cruise Critic and many other channels. So our first year out, we've got Best New River Ship. Wow, that was pretty cool. Uh, and that's a, a pretty hefty award given all the competition that's out there. The following year, we got Best River Line for Value. And there's another word for you. So Emerald Exceptional Value. We're all travelers. We're all shoppers. We all like the most bang for our buck. And to receive an award that recognizes the real value we give a traveler, that's huge. That's really kind of when you, when you bottom line everything, that's what it's all about. In fact, we're so excited that Cruise Critic also awarded us the same award for Best Riverline for Value in 2016. So two years running, Best Value out there. And when you boil everything down from excursions to drinks to stuff on the ship to how old the ship is, the fleet, to the service, the staff, you name it, you know what it comes down to is, am I getting the great value for my hard-earned vacation dollars that I'm giving my trusted agent, you, to go off and enjoy a river cruise, and we've nailed it. Guess what? We're not going to sit back on our laurels and just hang out with that award. We're going to find improvement. We're going to find different ways to get even better based on feedback, surveys, you know. Here's another word for you with M1 Waterway. Besides value, you could confidently talk about innovation. And I'm going to share a couple of things as we go along. But some of you might wonder, well, geez, you know, there are a lot of different river cruise lines out there. Why Emerald? And why would Glenn, in his wisdom, decide, well, you've got this other brand, but, you know, why would you bring in a four-star deluxe brand if you already had a five-star luxury brand? And it's simply because we recognize there's a underserved mass market that we all go after, that four-star deluxe customer that kind of wants to pick and choose what they want. Maybe they don't want the full all-inclusive, but they want what I call nicely inclusive. And so it's a sweet spot that speaks to the masses and speaks to a lot of customers that either been on other lines and want to upgrade or just kind of want to pick into something real comfortable for what they're looking for. So we launched in 2014. As of this point, we've got four ships, the Emerald Sky, Star, Sun, and Dawn. Now, make a note of this. This year, we're launching three new ships. We're nearly doubling our fleet, and we're going to come out with the Emerald Liberté, Emerald Radiant, and Emerald Destiny. So three new ships for 2017, the Liberté, the Radiant, and Destiny. Important for you to know, because this is the entire fleet of our star ships, but I bet you can figure out, if we've already got this many since 2014, we're going to do nothing but grow, and we want you to grow with us as we enter into new rivers and new destinations, tweak itineraries, different add-ons, you name it. So there's the ships as they are today, and we're growing more and more. Well, let's talk about a couple of details on these ships. You know, for those that haven't been on a river cruise, just know that all river cruise ships are limited in the length and the breadth because we have to get through locks. We have turns. We've got different topography under the water to be aware of. So we're all about 400 feet long by about 40 feet wide, depending on the rivers. There are some differences. But along the Rhine, Mine, Danube route especially, for the Dawn, Destiny, Sky, Star, and Sun, uh, we've got 182 guests that we take on our starship. Uh, the draft, and that's the place from the water line to the bottom of the ship, it's only four and three quarters feet. A very important because that helps us get and deal with low and high water situations. And the crew, well, we've got 47 crews, so we've got a very comfortable four guests for uh, every one crew member. So a staff to guest ratio, uh, very handsome, four to one. And then the different decks we have at the top of the deck is the sun deck with the suites and the cabins, the horizon deck, the vista deck, and then the Riviera deck. Now, for the new ships coming up, besides the destiny that you were just seeing, we have the Liberté. And, of course, this is going to be out in France. Uh, we're only going to carry 138 passengers on this. 
and it's 43 crew, so there's an even better gas screw ratio. And the width and the, uh, is not the same, but the length is a little bit different because of how that river is. And that's going to be launched here in just a couple months in April. And the radiance, well, she's going to be down in the Duro. And again, if you notice, now we're down to 292 feet, uh, 37 uh, crew taking care of 112 guests. Talk about a great guest to crew ratio. And because of Duro and the topography and the cragginess of the, the mountains as they come down, it has to be a shorter ship, a little more compact, but a great way to have a nice intimate crew along there. And you just, oh, why not? Along the Doro? Are you kidding? A oh, great way to travel along. So that's a starship cruising along one of the great rivers throughout Europe. And I can't tell you the design. By the way, here's a little hint. The design outside is all Glenn's doing. The design inside, well, that's his wife, Karen. Karen Moroni is our leader of the interior design teams that take care of putting all the different brands together. And she does an amazing job of what she can do inside the ship. So let's kind of talk about that a little bit. I'll show you some pictures of what those look like. But the thing that we'll hear over and over again is this exceptional emerald value. And I want to kind of share with you a couple of things that what that's all about. First off, there's Emerald Plus. Those are included excursions that aren't, aren't just like a basic walking tour or just something, you know, pretty simple. Sometimes they're kind of highlighted or little VIP type of uh, excursions that are already included. So that's why I say it's nicely included. Then we have all tips and gratuities included. Uh, this, that accounts not just for on ship, but also on shore for the guides and the people that, uh, you know, they're going to go off with. That's a huge saving. So right away we're proving our value to your clients. Airport transfers are included. No matter how they book the flight, so if that's something they do with points, if that's something with you, they're going to book it with us, what have you. Airport transfers included, of course, day of embarkation, disembarkation. Well, a nice way to kind of welcome them in and then see them off for their next cruise with us at a future time. We've got terrific staff. Uh, they're well-trained, English-speaking, and that's probably one of the second pillars, if you will, when people think about going river cruising. You know, what's the ship like? How new are they? What's the staff like? What's the service levels like? Uh, what else is included? So, of course, we have to have Wi-Fi included on board. Everybody's got to have connections to the devices, be able to send those great photos back home saying, neener, neener, we're here, you're not. But, wow, look at what we're doing and what was what it's all about. And then to enhance their trip, we have excursions, what we know is optional. We have excursions available called Discover More. Uh, here's the hint on that. Those are pre-bookable, meaning they're commissionable to you. And that's a nice way to also customize the trip with them and for them on your behalf, making you the expert. So other things you'll probably expect with Emerald, uh, all the meals are included. We've got a couple of restaurants there, beer, wine, soft drinks with their meal times at lunch and dinner. Then we've got drink packages available if they want to purchase for like a beer package, beer, wine package, or beer, wine, and spirits. And it's spectacular savings. It's like, you know, $9, excuse me, 9 euro a day or something like that for the beer package. I think it's only like 19 euro a day for the complete package. And let me tell you, we all drink a little bit more when we go on vacation. So uh, that easily covers that nightcap or that maybe morning mimosa that you want when you're having a wonderful breakfast. Tea and coffee, of course, a bottle of water, and there's cabins and suites there. And we've got these excursions pretty much at every single port waiting for them that's already there and included. So they get on board with a warm reception. Cleaning the glass together, big sincere smiles from the crew, and then they enter into the reception area and the lobby. So we're going to take you around the ship a little bit, show you the design, show you some of the features and innovations that Emerald brings with that value. And you're going to notice right away it's very modern and at the same time very warm. It's got lots of use of metals and glass and mirrors. It's got this gorgeous mezzanine area in the entry. And it's a way to uh, keep it modern, but at the same time, very, very comfortable. Of course, the popular area is the Horizon Bar and the Lounge. Uh, that's where everybody kind of gathers up everything from port talks to learning what's coming up for the next few days. Sometimes we'll do lectures or cooking demonstrations, what have you. The onboard entertainment is in this area. It's great and it's very spacious. It's one of those areas where if you want to tuck away with just by yourself on a good book and a fresh 
a cup of coffee or beverage, sure, why not? If you've met some newfound friends and there's six of you who want to kind of gather up and have cocktails before dinner and share some stories from where you're at, absolutely. Or maybe share some of the experiences you had that day when you're out on excursion. We always have friendly staff and they're pouring the drinks and giving you the nibbles, but there's also very comfortable seating around the Horizon Lounge. Get to hang out, chill out, get up there near the terrace, uh, see those Florida reefs, the ceiling windows, and watch the world go by. Now, I did mention that we do onboard entertainment as well. Yeah. Typically, this is going to be either before or after dinner time, depending on the cruise day. It might even be something during the day if we're cruising along for lectures, special demonstrations, the cruise director doing port talks, what have you. But it's nice to know. And when we do in entertainment, it's always with the spirit of bringing the local flavor on board, the dancers and the musicians, you name it, from that particular area. You know, here we've got a couple of the guys from Bavaria doing the oompa music, and it's always interactive. It's a blast. People are laughing, taking pictures, but it's a way to enhance the trip of where they're going to along the destination that they're enjoying. Now, as far as eating goes, we've got the two different restaurants, the Reflections restaurant, White linen service, gorgeous setting. It's going to have a four-course meal. Um, this uh, reflections is, by the way, is designed for open seating, and that's something important to your client too. So there's not that stampede to the dining room, you know, at seven o'clock to get fed. If they want to show up between the dining hours, they're happy to be there. Two, four, six of them. They just get to the major D and they'll get them taken care of as far as a nice personal seating. Uh, breakfast and lunches, they're going to be the first class buffet. So, you know, you can hear buffet, but whoa, whoa, let me back up a little bit and explain it. It's the egg station, it's the three different types of bacon, it's the healthy choices like the regional fruits and vegetables and smoothies. It's also waffles and pancakes and sausages. So, trust me, it's plenty of being taken care of for breakfast. And then for lunch, same thing with not just a variety of different types of meals to choose from, but also order off the menu, and we're very aware of any special dietary needs. You name it, we got it covered, except for kosher. That requires a separate galley, separate kitchen. And But everything else we've got from gluten-free, lactose, diabetic, we're very aware of that, and the team does a great job to accommodate for all different needs. Now, also remember, that you got beer and wine being poured at lunch and dinner. Wait for them. There are drinks available after that for purchase if they'd like. And if any of you are foodies and you wanted to be an executive chef, well, I'll tell you what, you're going to have to take a shopping list with you. So I just want to give you this fun fact. On an average week-long cruise, what you're going to have to put in your shopping basket. And, you know, here in California, we've got that new shopping bag law, so I'm not sure if this will fit, but you're going to have to have 1,900 fresh eggs. You're going to have to pick up like 1,000 pounds of vegetables and 500 pounds of potatoes and 300 pounds of chocolate. Ooh, I can do that. Anybody else want to help me pick up the 300 pounds of chocolate? But I got to tell you, my favorite is the 740 pints of ice cream. That's just the average shopping list for executive chef on one of our starships, taking care of your clients, our guests, and creating some wonderful meals. Well, here they are, right? They're well trained. They put together these amazing dishes. The presentation is always, always spectacular. Nice variety, right? Fish, beef. Chicken, you know, you've also got your vegan options, a big, big variety of different things that you can eat. Again, not just what the menu items are, but order off the menu. There's kind of a shot of the decor and the openness of uh, the, the reflection restaurant. And here's even a, a sample menu for you. If you want to start with your beetroot carpaccio, or maybe when you get into the soup with the tomato essence. Or maybe you want to kind of play with the uh, tiger prawn salad, or did you want Chateaubriand tonight, honey, or did you want salmon filet? Right, so these are some gorgeous meals uh, put together with an amazing team of chefs and servers. And of course, then we have to get to the desserts of things like not just the fresh fruit or the strawberry ice cream, but even the baked Alaska emerald style, which makes it just extra special. See, our other restaurant is the Terrace, the Terrace restaurant. It's actually one of my favorites. Uh, it's because maybe being a California boy, I love dining al fresco anytime I can. So this is a great place to grab the early breakfast, the late lunch, you cut the nibbles, the sandwiches and soups and uh, light meals if you want, just to kind of tuck away there at the counter, or of course take it on outside underneath the terrace. And where that terrace is, by the way, they've got these great uh, heater systems that, you know, are like these ceramic heater systems that keep you warm and toasty should you be uh, a little chilly out there and, and wanting to enjoy the 
fresh air, but at the same time be very comfortable. So that's that's the parent. Well, to get you around the ship some more, we'll get you up to the sun deck. Up there, we've got a putting green for you to keep your golf skills up. We've got a walking track that we don't let anybody up there until after 8 in the morning. Um, so to keep it nice and quiet around the ship. We've even got this life-size tic-tac dough board. And i got to be honest with you. You know, I first thought, like, oh, come on. Who's going to really play that? But I'm amazed how popular that is and how there's people even up there, like, you know, teasing each other and betting on who's going to win. So the, the sun deck is a great place to be. Of course, I love it because that's where you're going to find me after dinner, probably with a nightcap, enjoying the best scene of the stars above or even just cruising along and seeing the local life in some of the different cities and villages that we cruise on by watching it from the sun deck. Great place. We do have a wellness spa and a little fitness center. So, you know, that's obviously an extra charge, but if you want to get your hair done up, if you want to get all gussied up, maybe for an event or an excursion, this is something your clients would certainly enjoy. We've got a fitness center. It's a little mini fitness center, but it's got plenty of machines there, like an elliptical or a bike. It's got uh, you know, usually a setup machine, got some light weight. One of my favorites on here is the rowing machine you see right in the middle. I love to be on the rowing machine and look out the window when we're underway. I really feel like I'm helping move the ship, you know? <laughs> Row back and forth, and the waves go along, and you're like, oh, great. All right, I'm getting a good workout. But it's there, and it's important to a lot of people. Uh, they like to be active. They like to make sure they stay up on the fitness. It's nice to know that you have beautiful facilities like this to enjoy. Well, now I'm going to get you over to the suites and, and kind of show off some of our different rooms and cabins and what they look like. Of course, there's a quick tease of the owner suite. Let's come back to that uh, after we go around to the rest of the ship. So let's start at the Riviera deck. That's uh, at the bottom deck. These are our Emerald State rooms. They start at 162 square feet. Nicely sized, bigger than the, the standard out there. And I think that probably hints towards the fact that we're the newest fleet on the river we're able to do some pretty innovative things with the space. And in this particular cabin, you'll see that five square foot stationary window. You'll see Egyptian cotton linen sheets on the queen size bed that can be split out to twins if you have roommates or you want the separate beds. You have that beautiful flat screen TV. And one of my favorite things in this is those cabinet trees that you see there. They have those soft closures. You know, have you ever been in a hotel and you hear the guy next door slamming his drawers and you're like, what the heck's going on? These have those things where you can try and slam those drawers, but they've got those soft closures to catch them like a half inch before they close. And they do that, they do that real nice little soft closure thing. I don't know. It might maybe be a silly thing for me, but I just think it's just one of those extra little innovative things that Emerald has to make it just extra special. Of course, ensuite bathrooms, you know, right in the suite there waiting for them. Large bathrooms. Uh, you probably couldn't tell from my photos, but I stand six foot four and I sit right underneath those shower head and of course it's movable for different heights. Uh, throughout the bathroom there's lots of storage space. So behind those mirrors on the right, one of the places all toiletries and things you want to bring along. Uh, don't worry about your hair dryer. Don't worry about packing a bathroom over slippers. That's all waiting for you in the room and they're flush and they're cozy. It's nice to know it's there. As we move up in level of suites, we have 48 balcony suites in our panorama suite. These are 180 square feet. And you're going to notice in the picture that they're a little bit roomier, a little bit bigger, and they have that internal balcony. They got the hardwood back there with that drop down glass. The push of a button that raises and lowers, and then it's gorgeous floor to ceiling windows. So you really get to see a big, beautiful picture. Not those French balconies, you're kind of like limited it, or you just kind of stop you at one point. It really opens it up so you see a beautiful view. And that top half, you can open it up for fresh air. That's something you do at night. One of the things I like to do is just crack it a little bit, have the fresh air coming through, tuck under that really cushy duvet, have the best sleep of your, of your life. So anyway, that's the balcony suite on the, on the panorama level. On the Liberté and the Radiance, just know that instead of 180 square feet, they're a little bit smaller than 170 square feet. And then as we get into the bigger suites, like the Grand Balcony, well, there's eight of these on there at 207 square feet. Their balcony is a little bit different. This is an open air outdoor balcony that has that pane of glass on the left that can close all the way, but it also has that drop down feature that at a push of a button, you sit out there with a couple of chairs, your table, and it's literally an outdoor balcony, enjoying the sights, well, even to the locals, uh, having a nice glass of champagne while you just chill out in your balcony. 
At this level, you have an espresso machine in there. You've got the concierge service with Emerald. Uh, if you don't know what an espresso machine is, it's kind of like a Keurig. It's just European style with an espresso. You're starting to see more and more commercials uh, for those. It's nice to have the coffee in your room waiting for you right away. And then finally, where Lorene usually hangs out. <laughs> the uh, owners, uh, one bedroom suite. We've got four of those on the ship, 315 square feet. And you'll see that they have, they have a nice entertainment area. And then you've got a separator there. You can close that off and have your sleeping area. Uh, you've got your complimentary laundry. There's an iPad waiting in there. There's a mini bar that's stocked. And then on the Liberty and the Radiance, we've got two owner suites. Same type of layout, just a little bit different configuration and square footage. But this is certainly the place to be, you know, where the other half lives, sleeps, and entertains. Pretty nice, huh? So these are some of the different ways we've designed the Starship to enhance where they're going to hang out along their great Emerald Exceptional Value cruise. Why not? Enjoy yourself. Have a drink on your private balcony. And uh, just Try yourself lucky that you're not in Kansas anymore uh, and enjoying the site. Now, here's something I know that will blow you guys away. On Emerald Starship, we've got our heated pool off the second deck. Talk about innovation, right? This is a great little chill space. We really open all the different windows. It's got that retractable roof on the top so we can use the pool in any kind of weather. It's a great place to hang out. Uh, you can tuck away by yourself if you want. There's, what do you know, also a nice little corner bar there, and they can brew you up some fresh coffee. They can mix you up some great drinks. But it's a heated pool. It's four feet deep, 18 feet long, 12 feet wide. I kind of call it a semi-infinity pool because it's off the back there. It kind of waterfalls back into the system, and it kind of recirculates. However, you ready for this? Watch closely because at night what we do, we push a button, and we convert our heated pool into a movie cinema. Yeah, that bottom floor comes up out of the pool, we dry it off, we tuck it around, reconfigure the seats, drop down the screen, and now we're showing recent movies, regional movies like Sound of Music, and having a blast back there with freshly popped popcorn, a couple of beverages, and enjoying ourselves in our movie cinema. I know that that's usually a big wow factor, and if you're impressed, think about how impressed your clients will be when they know that not only can they go on Emerald and enjoy as much or as little as they want, but from the fitness center to the beverages to the restaurants to the pool and cinema, it's all really well taken care of for them. Well, I've teased you a couple times already about Emerald Plus and speaking to the Emerald Exceptional Value and what that's all about. This would be things like a glass blowing demonstration when we get into Germany, or maybe the Hungarian dinner and dancing. We've got that goulash, you know, coming out maybe a chilly evening and it warms you up. Maybe it's that black forest cake that you learn how to make when you're at the family gas stove, learning all the styles and the ways they uh, do some wonderful work. But probably the number one that we get in the favorite of many people is when we do the hosted tea at a local Slovakian family. And that's where we'll take off on a motor coach, drop you off at a couple of different homes, and you get to learn about the lifestyle, the strife of the history, the hope for the future. There's usually little homemade goodies that they've uh, baked up for you, the, the teas and coffees that they serve, and talk about immersion to a local culture. You know, nothing like basically staying in someone's home for a short bit of time to learn about them and have a cultural exchange right where they live. And that is probably the number one, as far as what we get back, feedback-wise, what people love. Well, of course, they also love the other Emerald Plus inclusions, things like the castle tours, the wine tastings, and whatnot. But that's an example of some of the Emerald Plus included type of excursions that are already taken care of for your clients. Now, Discover More, well, that's those optional. Those are the ones you can pre-book ahead of time. They're commissionable to you. And then a couple of examples of those are coming up. One would be Salzburg, where when you go into Port in Passau, you can go and do the whole Sound of Music uh, extravaganza and have that experience going over to Salzburg. Or, for example, you can uh, do something in Vienna when you're there and go do the Schoenbrunn Palace as an example of Discover More or the Spanish Writing School. Another one that people seem to like is Chesky Kromlov. 
you guys aren't familiar with this, this is in the Czech Republic. It's this grand broke city with all this architecture. And it's probably one of my best examples of just a fairy tale village that you can get into in the Czech Republic. Uh, it's usually one of those, uh, let me check it off the list, no pun intended, as far as a country I want to go visit. And it's a great way to do the walking tour, have free time, and, and really have something kind of unique as far as the experience goes. So when you're pre-booking these, this is definitely one I would recommend. The other thing that Emerald's doing with some innovations is we realize that today's 60-year-old is not yesterday's 60-year-old, right? Uh, in fact, let's speak to that. You know, the average age of a traveler on Emerald is, I'm going to say, an average 60 active, 60, 60 plus. And we get everyone probably from 45 on up to 95. Uh, but the sweet spot is in that 60-ish. Um, and they have been asking for and we're delivering with things like more hiking excursions around different spots of the rivers, different ports, as well as biking excursions. There's a few on the screen there from Bernstein to Milk or from the Shone Sorsone down to Mekong. Uh, this is an example of where people are wanting to get more and more active, so from our fitness center to the hiking to the biking, and we're going to be including more and more of these so that people can kind of design and do what they want to do to enhance their trip. Well, I guess at this time it's only fair to kind of share with you some of the different itineraries and some of the different uh, new itineraries coming up for this season. Um, the tried and true, right? It's right there on screen. Probably one you expect the Nuremberg to Budapest, Amsterdam to Basel. Uh, some of that uh, you may not expect or may not think about, but something to put into play for people that have kind of been there, done that. For example, if they've done Danube, they've done the Rhine, well, maybe they would go and do uh, the Eastern uh, Europe trip with us and go from Budapest out to Bucharest and get out to the Iron Curtain. Uh, or maybe some of the shorter, different destinations, be it some of the new ones we have coming up, or maybe like tulip time, if you will. But let's kind of jump into these and, and show you what I'm talking about. First off, some great shots from the Danube Delight. Many of you probably recognize from Milk to, of course, Budapest. We got down there with Nuremberg. Some wonderful sights. There's a Passau. And here's your itinerary. This is the Nuremberg of Budapest. Those of you new to River Cruise, this is tried and true. For the brand new folks that have never been river cruising, this is typically what a lot of you will book right away. And the nice thing here is they can get into Nuremberg or they can fly into Budapest, depending on how you want to work their air. And this, of course, goes either upstream or downstream, if you will, north or south. So from Budapest to Nuremberg or vice versa. I always encourage, especially us West Coasters, you know, we're going to fly all the way to Europe. To enjoy that trip, you want to take the time. And I always encourage to add on Prague. Uh, it's a great and easy thing to do. Wouldn't you know it? We've got an itinerary that speaks right to that. So if they're going to go all the way over to Europe and enjoy the Danube, for gosh sakes, encourage them to take the extra three days and do the classic Prague and Danube delights. That way they get over there and really uh, get a nice variety of cultures and be able to see the astronomical spots, the Prague Castle. And, and the different currencies, the different folks, and of course, then we get them motor coached over to the start of where they're at for Nuremberg. Another real popular one, especially for the folks that have the time to do it, is the Splendors of Europe. So this is from Amsterdam, it goes all the way through down to Budapest. So basically, you're taking that Nuremberg to Budapest trip we just saw and adding on all the way up to Amsterdam. 14 days going, again, north or south, if you will, now, this is going to be the Rhine, it's going to be the Main Canal right there, and then the Danube. And that's why I think this is probably one of my favorite itineraries, because of the different countries you go through, also because of the different personalities of those rivers. Again, for those who have been on the Rhine and Danube, it's uh, different traffic, different vibe, kind of a, a different look from the structures to the castles to the people along the rivers. And it's great to be able to even have that little kind of calm transition there going on the mine canal when you connect to the New Mexico River. So this is a real popular one. And of course, some of our, our regional river cruises, if you will, like the Netherlands, with the beauty, the beauty of Belgium, get them up there to see the uh, tulip time, the windmills, the canals. That's always kind of a fun one. And sometimes this is the uh, first river cruise for kind of people want to stick their toe in the water. That pun was intended 
when they don't have that long or they just kind of want to check it out a little bit to see if river cruising is for them, this is kind of one of those that people seem to really enjoy. And then Jewels of the Rhine, uh, that one is a little bit different where, of course, it's going to start in Amsterdam, but then it's going to work its way down through Germany, Cologne, Mannheim, and go over to Basel. So that's the one that goes to, uh, to Mannheim, so that's the excursion to Heidelberg, down, enjoy the Black Forest, and of course, finishes out in Basel. I always say if you have the time, extend a couple of days in Basel because that is a great art city. Um, it's just, again, kind of a different flow and vibe, but if you've got the time, why not encourage them to spend it there. A couple of new itineraries coming up this season. So uh, many of you have already been selling this, and we're going to be doing more and more. The Sensations of Southern France. Of course, this is where one of our new ships is going to be there, the Liberté. Eight days, they'll come into Bain, and then they'll get down to Chalon sur Saône to start the port and work their way down to Arles, then transfer over and they can. Part of France is going to be uh, that more and more popular. People kind of ebb and flow to get back into going back to France and going back and enjoying this terrific area. We wouldn't invest in the destination or in a ship unless we knew that uh, they're coming and they're demanding to get down to southern France in the style that their mobile will take care of for them. And of course, you heard a little bit of a hint earlier, but Secrets of Adoro, right? This is the brand new itinerary as well for 17, uh, in and out of Porto, so from Porto all the way out and back. Mega del Toron is where we're going to uh, port at, but then, of course, we're also going to do excursions out to Salamanca so you can kind of get deep into Spain as well. Uh, and this one is uh, one of those like white hot itineraries. You know, you, you can't get um, enough space on it, if you will. So you've got folks that have already kind of done the Rhine and the Danube. They're looking for somewhere different. Get them booked on this early and often because it's just one of those, uh, not even an emerging river. I mean, other folks have been going there, but we just got a lot of Emerald fans that know that we're going to take great care of them when they go to the destination like this. So why not? And then we're kind of doing something kind of fun. We are doing a lot of uh, back to back. Uh, we've got a number of clients from around the world, especially that say, geez, I want to do a seven day over in Western Europe, but then I kind of want to go over and do that southern France too. So we're doing a back to back with the Rhine and the Rhone River cruise. And then from Basel over to Lyon, we're going to include the motor coach transfer. So get them smoothly from one river to another. Heck, why not? That's what Emerald does. And then the other uh, back to back that's going to be popular is the Douro and Southern France. So, of course, it's doing that Douro that we just looked at, uh, Porto to Porto. And then in this case, we're actually going to include the flights, getting them from Porto over to Lyon, from one river to another, nice and smooth and easy. Um, be on the lookout. Yeah, I guess uh, you're going to realize there's other rivers and other destinations. I can't really say for sure, but maybe <coughs> Southeast Asia might be an area and you can see us in, in the future uh, season. But for you, things to help you and support you, well, you have to get over to emeraldwaterways.com. Uh, that's the website for you. That's also the website for where the agent portal is. So up on the left-hand side of the home page, you'll see a little link that says agent portal. And that's where you'll see this page. And you're going to see our online booking tool. You'll see a place to order brochures, uh, different things like uh, group policies and deck plans, testimonials. But there's a couple I want to highlight for you. Certainly Expressbook. That's our easy online booking tool. I know a lot of you guys work 12-hour days. You don't have banker hours. So sometimes you want to kind of look up um, availability and deck plans at 10 o'clock at night or 5 in the morning. Well, all you have to do is get yourself uh, signed up. Then you'll get your username, password, and you go in there and look at all the Emerald inventory, what's available, the different cruises. You can even set up quotes, and you can test this yourself. You can actually send a quote to yourself, just like you would a client, just to kind of see what it's about. So then you can feel confident in using the system, and then start using it whenever you want, 24-7. There's plenty of media galleries there, too. So that's another area. Maybe you want to scribble down and make sure you check out. Not only does it have... Uh, you know, imagery and uh, videos in there for you, but it also has a 360 degree view, like the fine hotels do, where you can basically step yourself onto the ship, have a good look around, you can get in the dining area, you can step in one of the suites, 
you can be in the middle of that pool and have a 360 degree view, just kind of look around with uh, that technology. But the one I really encourage you to take part in is the specialist program. Uh, that was designed by a couple of our colleagues, my good friend Randy. That's the Emerald Specialist Program, and it's right there in the middle of the screen, but on the agent portal, you can't miss it. And it's uh, a good specialist program, not too easy, not too hard, but we want you to take it and pass it, and then what we do is we reward you for actually passing it by giving you a $100 gift card on your first booking within six months, and that's a extra bonus, that's an extra thank you from us to you for learning and earning, if you will, with Emerald. And uh, that's a way to kind of, again, say thanks, but also encourage you to spread the word about Emerald. The other little bonus feature on that is a uh, comparison chart. And I've got it up here on the screen, and Lorraine's already promised to remind me to share this with her, and she's going to get the word out to you guys. We didn't do this. River Cruise Advisor did this. And this is a great source for all things River Cruise. But they put together this comparison chart that says to help you. And definitely for to help you help your client. There's a lot of different River Cruise lines out there. Uh, you know, brand X to brand Z, you name it. Even one of horns. There's a company out there with horns that everyone loves to give a good uh, competitive business against. And um, you're going to see on there with a check mark a very fair and very easy apples to apples comparison of are there excursions included, uh, are there any events, what are the drinks like, do they have bicycles, do they have balconies, how many dining venues, etc. And you'll see that that's where Emerald sits nicely in the middle of the pack. Uh, it's nicely inclusive, four star deluxe, but as you're proving the value of Emerald to your client, this might be a thing you even want to share with them because the more check marks, the better form, of course. The less check marks means that they're going to pay for it when they get there, and that, of course, takes you out of the commission game. You're not going to get any credit for it either. So anyway, just wanted to let you know it's there. There's a nice comparison chart. It really helps a lot of you because river cruising now is where ocean cruising was, say, 20 years ago. There's a lot of different brands. We have to do a better job for you to differentiate ourselves versus brand, the brand actors out there. And with Emerald, we want to be able to have this for you. You see Phoenix there as well to say, hey, here you go. Here's something from a third party uh, that put it together, the quality piece, but it's something that we want to share so you have a nice resource to use. Of course, we're all on all the medias, all the social medias. We're booking, we're tweeting, we're tubing. So you're going to see us out there available, and sometimes there's flash sales, sometimes there's extra heads up or notices for you. So certainly connect with us on any of the, the social media so you have the very latest and we're happy to get that to you. And just, you know, kind of to recap this whole Emerald exceptional value. You know, we brought this brand out just a few years ago. There's many of your clients that won't know us yet. And that's where we trust you and pay you commission and support you with things like this and to let you know that we're award winning, yes, but there's a lot of key features that Emerald Waterways has to build up that emerald exceptional value from keeping the glasses topped off to the floor to ceiling windows to that cool pool and cinema combo to the great treats in the restaurants to the beautiful contemporary suites. It's just a nice way to just kind of put it all together. Also, emerald is crazy about groups. And in fact, we've got a bunch of crazy groups. So if you've got affinity groups, Red Hat Society, heck, we have got dental groups school groups, meaning like uh, continuing education type people, lawyers, anyone that goes all together on a trip, sometimes they are doing some continued education, sometimes it's a large family group, sometimes it's these associations or churches, what have you, they all get together. Well, we do a wonderful job on groups. In fact, the group participants usually get a nice if discount type of offer that goes along with it. And we've got that great space back there, you know, where the cinema was, the pool, that we can do things like classes or you know hold group meetings or whatever they're doing. So we've got a terrific group department. Um, if you want to throw us quotes or throw us ideas about your different groups, get a hold of any of them in the group department or any of your local friendly business development managers out there, and we're happy to serve and help you out. Up to even doing presentations for your group. So give us a holler on that. And then one of the last things I want you to be aware of and even scribble down is something very unique. In fact, 
this is something we have to do a much better job at getting the word out about as well. So Scenic as a company, but Emerald Waterways with that, we came out with the Emerald Waterways Cruise Guarantee. So staying true to that value and bolstering that whole thing up, we've partnered with a global insurance company to be the first company out there to offer a river cruise guarantee. And what this does, this covers anything that should interrupt the cruise as far as delays or cancellations. Do we do those things that we can't control? Things like weather, disasters, mechanical breakdowns, uh, strikes. So this is already included. There's nothing extra that the client would have to pay for this. We absolutely encourage you to still do cancellation for any reason type of insurance or medical insurance. That's a separate thing. This covers weather, natural disasters, mechanical breakdowns, and strikes. But just a nice way for Emerald to step up the value and, again, encourage and bolster that up by having the river cruise guarantee out there from Emerald Waterways. And if that's not enough, well, here's another one. Because you came here today, you've actually got something that you can pass along to your clients because you're an expert. You've got the expertise, and it actually enhances not just Emerald's value, now this enhances your value as our partner, but their travel professional. And this is a voucher that's good for really the next 14 days if you're real good, 30 days if your clients are slow to respond. And this is where you can earn your client $125 off per person when they book a new Emerald River, uh, Waterways River Cruise with us. And there's a code on the screen. Uh, Lorene, if you remind me, this is something we'll have to get back to them in the follow-up message, but uh, when you book within 14 days of today's webinar, you can give them $125 off uh, per person for their booking. Now, if they wait around too long, uh, well, that will be extended, but it, it also goes down. So within 30 days, so between 15 and 30 days, if they wait too long, they'll get $75 off per person. But heck, why would you wait? So why not encourage them right away? There's some terrific offers in the marketplace, and speaking of... Look at this, flights included to Europe. So here's a couple of great itineraries. You can save them $2,800 off plus $125 per person. You do the specialist course, get yourself $100 as a reward. Here's a Danube Delight or Splendors of Europe, two of our hottest top sellers that you can encourage them to get on and book with some amazing uh, offers, plus what you're able to bring to them by being here today and just your expertise overall. So, there's a lot of good information here. I know you guys were scribbling furiously, uh, be it in your bunny rabbit slippers and robe, <laughs> or in your business suit at Starbucks, wherever you happen to be. Uh, we love our Mac partners. And of course, we do have this little incentive of a $25 iTunes gift card. And Lorene, we'll, we'll have to, uh, I guess, figure out if people are ready to uh, chime in and get their chat ready. We've got a number of attendees here. I've got a question to see if they're paying attention. And I think, Lorraine, what do you think? The, the first person to answer this correctly wins. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I want to be clear for everybody to put it in the question box because sometimes oh, question people box. put things in the chat box, which is a different box. They both go to me, but if I'm paying attention to the question box, then the chat box is closed. <laughs> so. Ah, see, I want people to like, you know, okay, the ground rules are placed, um, and Mark did announce at the very beginning of this, because, you know, he's a good guy, um, and that he would have, at the very end of his presentation, uh, a possibility of one of you winning something. Uh, before we do that, though, Mark, what I would like to emphasize to everybody is that you will send me a link to different things. Uh, including maybe some PDFs, uh, f uh, including the comparison sheet, uh, you will send me, and, and I will follow up with you on an email message. I will take that responsibility on, because we all know how I am. 
Uh, you were also pro- yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I don't know. People in my chapter may not agree with that, but um, <laughs> if you will give me the quote. So we will put this all in email for you, and I will send it to you in the next couple of days, probably by Monday, so that way you can get rid of your weekend email. <clears throat> um, but some of the questions that people are asking, I know, will be answered very easily if you take the time to do the specialist program. And since he was giving us such detail, we're out of time, so we're not going to have the Q&A session. One of the questions also, and this is, you know, so you don't have to do this, Mark. We will take care of this. They were asking how scenic compares to Emerald. Well, guess what? We are having a uh, scenic webinar, okay? Get your pencils out, everybody, on Thursday the 19th, which is a week from today. So please go and register for this session. Uh, it will be just like this, but oh, this time we won't have Mark. He's so awesome. Uh, but we will have Randy Goodrich. He is also equally as awesome. And uh, so I encourage everybody to sign up for that. Uh, you will get it posted on the NACTA NAD list as well as every other place. Like how you learned how to sign up for this one. So, Mark, I was just letting you know, I was kind of squishing out some of the questions because. Uh, They'll just need to be on next week's webinar. How's that? That's terrific. No, it keeps the questions coming. There will be a lot of those answered in the specialist program. You know, I encourage you guys to you know, push the heck out of the Emerald Exceptional Value. So feel good about the fact that when you offer that to your clients, they're going to love you for it. So, Lorene, I'm at your graces. However, you don't want to do this with the Q&A, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the uh, gift card, you let me know. You may just ask the question and see who responds. Yep, why don't uh, we'll set up the parameters. Okay, one question box, not the chat box. Two, be on your keypad so you can type this out. Uh, the person who answers Mark's question correctly first will win the $25 iTunes card. Okay, so we're going to have the drum roll. It's a it's kind of got three different things in it, so you do need to have all three that he's going to ask correct to be considered to win. How's that, Mark? Did that work? <laughs> That's a beautiful setup. Well done, yeah. So the question is, and you guys are in the question area, not the chat area, in the question area. The question is, what, I know you guys are wondering what the question is, so I want to make sure you're ready for it. The question is, what are the, you ready for this? You guys ready? You got this? <laughs> so oh the man, you're a tease. <laughs> What are the names of the three new Emerald Waterway starships coming out this year? And you have to have all three. What are the names of the brand new Emerald Waterway starships coming out for the 2017 season? <laughs> You're good. I actually already have a winner. I just have to get the person's wow. email. I know, I know. This person was like on there the whole time. And uh, fingers. yeah, yeah. And and the irony is this is what you guys don't know. So this is where you can feel paranoid and know Big Brother is watching, uh Big Sister. I can tell when you guys aren't paying attention because a little triangle comes up saying inattentive. <laughs> That's true. It's very true. So never again will these people ever be on my webinars. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I want to congratulate Teresa Olson. You are the winner of the twenty-five dollar <laughs> iTunes card. Yay, woo-hoo, Teresa! And you even spelled, spelled the names right. I'm impressed. Um, wow. I will put Teresa. I will put you in touch with another person named Teresa come to think of it, um, and we will make sure, will you also type in that question box your email address for me, please, so that way I can make sure to get the two of you together. Yeah, she's on it. She's already said thank you and got me at that address already. <laughs> uh, fingers. What are you, a travel agent or something? Well done. <laughs> hey, Lorraine, thanks for having me, and thanks for encouraging uh, the whole team with Emerald Waterways. 
for all of you that spent the time today to kind of share and learn about Emerald, let us know how we can serve you. Let us know how we can support you in anything you're doing to get bookings and get business. Thank you again. Absolutely. Thank you, Mark. And as always, thank you for honoring the home-based travel agent and knowing the value in the sellers of travel and that we do count and that we do sell business. So thank you again, everybody. I hope you have a good weekend. And like I said, make sure to sign up to hear Randy talk about Scenic. And that will be uh, January 19th which is a week from today, and that will be at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Happy booking. <laughs>